Diabetes in women is different from men in the view that women have more complications in the view uh, they develop, they have the risk of uh, heart attacks and uh, heart failure four times more than uh, more than the normal non-diabetic women. As uh, compared to men, they have only two times risk. So women with diabetes having heart attack and heart failure is more uh, riskier and poor outcomes compared to men and uh, other uh, group of women who get uh, affected by diabetes are uh, gestational diabetes where gestational diabetes has poor uh, adverse effects on mother and fetus and uh, we have all the complications of pregnancy including preterm labor, uh, postpartum hemorrhage, preeclampsia and abruptio or diabetes can cause all the complications of obstetrics. on uh, diabetes and pregnancy. We have two categories of uh, uh, pregnant mothers. One for already diabetic before pregnancy who need to plan their pregnancy well before uh, getting pregnant so that their sugars are very much under control during whole pregnancy. The second category are the pregnant ladies who become diabetic once they become pregnant that is called gestational diabetes. So once who are diabetic already need to plan their pregnancy according to their sugars because the diabetes in pregnancy has adverse outcomes on fetus as well as mothers like uh, congenital anomalies, return labor, postpartum hemorrhage, uh, n number of complications. So in gestational diabetes usually we screen all pregnant women uh, at the first antenatal visit with the dipsy test that is we do sugars irrespective of their food intake after uh, give a OGT that is 75 gram of glucose and after 2 hours we test the sugar. If it is more than 140, we take it as gestational diabetes and plan the treatment like medical nutritional therapy and insulin. I am going to talk on uh, the care of the mother after uh, delivering diabetic mother. Once uh, diabetic mother delivers or gestational diabetes mother delivers, we need to monitor the sugars after 6 weeks. We need to stop all the insulin and all as the sugars come to normal. And after 6 weeks again we check the blood sugars and confirm whether the sugars are still high. And uh, keep monitoring gestational diabetes mothers every six months so that in future they develop diabetes. It's a warning sign in pregnancy that if they develop gestational diabetes in future they might become type 2 diabetics. So to prevent type 2 diabetes they have to be cautious, maintain weight, nutrition, strict diabetic diet and exercise they have to follow and every six months they need to get their sugars checked to prevent diabetes. talk on uh, the risk factors in women to develop diabetes. As uh, any other ethnic group, uh, women also have risk factors like overweight women and uh, family history of diabetes and ethnic group and gestational diabetes and any mother uh, delivering a baby more than 4 kg and uh, mother having overweight, obesity, metabolic syndrome, polycystic disease. So these are the women who are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes in future. So such patients have to be screened regularly for their sugars. Every 6 months we need to check their sugars and diagnose early so that they will not develop diabetic complications.